In today's video, I'm going to talk about Evolving Skies and why I think it is the best modern day set and reasons you should definitely consider investing into this set in 2022 and beyond. Let's get it. What is going on guys? Jim here with a video today and happy Monday guys. I hope you guys are enjoying your start of the week. In today's video, we're going to be going through a investment type video why you should not invest in sword and shield as you saw in the intro hope you guys like that little charizard screen that's going to be in the videos from now on but let's get started with today's video they were talking about five different topics as you see on the screen here we're going one by one we have about evolving skies what evolving skies is about investment opportunities well you can jump start now and start investing while prices are not too high now keep in mind this could change very soon number three we're going to talk about long-term investment meaning stuff that will appreciate over time i highly highly think that this set will be one of the best sets that will appreciate over time and i'll go into why i think that as well number four what makes the set so great obviously it's evolving skies and number five what is next can anything else topple Evolving Skies and take its throne? So those five things that we're going to talk about today, let's get started. Keep in mind, before we get started with today's video, this is just the investment side of Evolving Skies. This set has great stuff in it. It has great cards, great stuff to collect. There's so many cards you can collect, all tarts and so much stuff. So if you are on just the collecting side of this, it is definitely an awesome set and all, still one of the best sets or the best set in Sword and Shield. Let's talk about Evolving Skies. Evolving Skies came out summer 2021. The exact date, August 27, 2021. This set started with being recognized as it's gonna be the best Sword and Shield set when all the cards were announced, all the evolutions, the Rayquaza, all the cards were destined to make this set the best Sword and Shield set in a very long time. Fast forward seven months later, this set is still holding its value. It is still being recognized as the best Sword and Shield set. And honestly, this set is going up by the minute in price as we speak, as the day goes on. Cars are going up, the seal product is starting to go up. So let's talk about Evolving Skies is pretty much the future. This set has some of the best cards in Sword and Shield. You got the Evolutions, you got Gyarados, you got Dragonite, you got Rayquaza, you got so many more cards. You even got the Noivern Batman card. So you have Noivern. That I don't even really like Noivern until I saw this card. So, well, probably because I'm an animated series fan, but fanboy, but a little more than that. That's what Evolving Skies is about. It has secret rare rainbows. It has some awesome full arts. It even has some really cool VMAX cards. This set has all of it. So we're going to start out with investment opportunity. And like I said before, investment opportunity is the stuff you can get your jump start on and collect early. Right now is a good time to collect Evolving Skies seal product because it is going to go up sooner or later. So let's talk about what type of stuff in Evolving Skies you can get at a decent price right now and get a jump start. Starting off, we have booster packs, seal booster packs. Now, keep in mind, you can get seal booster packs at Game Nerds for under $4 right now, and you can get 48 of them, which is crazy, but you, there you go, right there. That's a good start. Game Nerds, again, which are, the ETBs are also $40, as you see right here. Uh, they also have the build and battle stadiums. Those are starting to creep up a little bit. I would stay away from those. Not the greatest opportunity right now. But like I said, we're talking about opportunity. We're not talking about the long term right now. And what else are we missing here? Booster boxes. The booster boxes, uh, okay, so they're going up in price. But as of right now, on Monday, January 31st, I think it is time to start getting them now while you can. They are starting to creep up to the 100, 15, 120 range, as you see right here in some places. But if you don't act quick with this set now with the booster boxes, I can see this box going up to 170, 180, three to six months from right now. Unless we get another reprint, as you can see, the reprint has ended. That is pretty much why these prices are going up. The sleeve, the ETBs, and some other stuff are great opportunities. That is the investment opportunity right now. The stuff I just talked about, the seal product. Next, we're gonna talk about long-term investing. And long-term investing is the most important investing when it comes to the uh, cards in themselves. Well, let's start with the seal product stuff first since we pretty much didn't talk about the elite trainer box from pokemon center that is definitely a long-term investment you can't even get it right now definitely people are going to sit on it it's going to hold its value over time and i could see that being a very very important piece in history of evolving skies down the road also 
Keep in mind, booster boxes are starting to go up in price, as I said before. So booster boxes could be either an investment opportunity or an investment, long-term investment. It doesn't, it, it, it could go either way. You get it right now for 120, that is definitely an investment opportunity. If you hold it for a while and just keep waiting, that could turn into a long-term investment for that booster box. That's why I have them in both sections. Another thing for a long-term investment would be some of the, the, the collection boxes. You see right here, a couple of them with evolving skies in them. And those boxes definitely, I think, will go up in value one day as well. Now let's talk about the card side of things, the single cards where you, uh, the market has seen a huge decline pricing on a lot of the other sets. Evolving Skies, however, has not seen a big decline. It's honestly seen an incline in prices. So let's talk about some of those cards. I'm only gonna talk about the cards that are most notable in the set that have extremely went up in price or somewhat went up in price. So let's talk about the Sylveon VMAX Altar. This card has definitely held its $90 value and around that value for some time now. I think Sylveon was over 100 at one point, as you can see on the chart here. It has not gone too much down or too much higher. This card, I would say, is an average around 90 bucks. I think around the reprint, the card went down to around 80, but it's already back up to 90. This card, I can see definitely being over 100, definitely in some time soon. Up next, uh, Dragonite. Dragonite Rayquaza V Altar. These two cards right here are definitely contenders to be big hits one day when it comes to investing. The Dragonite is a fan favorite and the Rayquaza is a fan favorite, obviously, but the Dragonite doesn't have its VMAX um, uh, card. So Dragonite V Altar is definitely a card I can see going up and up in value one day. It is literally got the craziest artwork as you see right here. This is some breathtaking artwork. I think this Dragonite card is definitely the prequel to what we can see for a VMAX Altar one day. Mark my words, can we see the VMAX Altar? Yes, I can see it, but which set is that going to be in? But the, the Dragonite V Altar, the V Altar from Evolving Skies, I can definitely see its price right now is around $70. I can see it going up to $85.90 really soon actually. And with the Rayquaza being at $76, $77 right now, I can see that going up to $90 to $100 as well. Keep in mind, this is definitely a long-term investment when it comes to the cards themselves. All the Evolution Altars right here are all holding decent value, especially the Umbreon. And I didn't say the other Umbreon yet or Rayquaza, so you guys are definitely wondering where I'm going to talk about those. Those Evolutions I just named are definitely going to go up definitely at least $15 to $20 in value, definitely sooner or later. Now, the one I see the most going up is the Umbreon V Altar. So that card's definitely gonna show up to $100 definitely soon because of the reprint seeming, seeming to end. And in the long term, that card's just gonna be miles off. The last two cards, these are the two most important cards when it comes to Evolving Skies. If you do not have a Rayquaza VMAX Altar or the Umbreon VMAX Altar, which we still have not pulled the Umbreon, you are missing the two most important pieces of Evolving Skies in terms of chase cards. These two cards, as of right now, are the most expensive altars in Sword and Shield. Now keep in mind, I made a video about a month ago talking about the top five Sword and Shield cards. If you haven't seen that video, definitely right here on the screen right here. Make sure you check out in the description below. I went over my cards you should invest from uh, Sword and Shield era, and these two cards definitely made the list. And here's the crazy part, Rayquaza was at 153, and Umbreon was at 180, something around those prices, give or take, you'll see on the screen. The Rayquaza is now up to 178.28, I think it is, you see on the screen here. That is a huge, huge price jump in terms of one month. Now, some people might argue it's because of the reprint ending, but this card for a reprint was still holding tremendous value at $153. But now the card is up to almost $180. So that must tell you that the reprint and all the crazy amount of booster boxes that came out did not slow this set down at all in terms of value. The Umbreon VMAX Altar was at 180. Now it is at 195, 194, one of those two prices. It goes back and forth. That card has just keep going up and up and up. Now that card is sooner or later gonna be 200. Those two cards are literally gonna be the two best cards in Sword and Shield as of right now. But where do I see these cards going? I'm gonna project that, as you see on the screen here, the two have gone up. I see Rayquaza going up to 250 and I could see Umbreon go up to 280 and I could see this by the next six months. In conclusion, what makes Evolving Skies such a great set? As you saw on all these points, we have seal product, we have different cards you can invest into, just so many things. You can go the seal product route 
or you can go the actual single card route, which is still seem to be holding or going higher as we speak. So those two avenues you can take, the sealed or the single cards, I think is best when it comes to evolving skies. So it's good to see both. Usually in another set, you'll see just a sealed route. You're never gonna just see just the single card route. So that's really cool to see that. So what is next? Brilliant Stars comes out in about three weeks. Are we looking at the next set to be taken down by Evolving Skies once again? Or are all these Charizards, which I call the modern day flash fire, gonna topple down Evolving Skies and take its throne as the set to invest in as number one in Sword and Shield? Time will tell, we'll find out. There are so many cards in Brilliant Stars. Obviously, Brilliant Stars is very soon. The Charizards are gonna decide the major factor when it comes to investing for Brilliant Stars. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the video, definitely hook smash the like button, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell, aka the notification bell. And uh, let me know in the comment section below, are you more investment opportunity or long-term investment with Evolving Skies? And also, let me know in the comment section below, are you more about the seal product or the singles market when it comes to Evolving Skies? Do you guys think that Umbreon or Rayquaza is going to be the best card? Let me know about that as well. And yeah, stay tuned for more investing videos. I got a great one lined up for next week. I got another great one for this week. So much more investing videos coming. Uh, a hunt video is going to be on Wednesday. Stay tuned to that. Uh, so much more stuff. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of today's video and the new style of it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay awesome, stay positive, and most of all, stay safe. Peace out, guys.